And now, CJM and Pure Wrestling presents... Backlash! Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Chris Gamer 1025 and we're here live tonight for Backlash! Yes, it's gonna be an amazing night here, ladies and gentlemen. An incredible night, yet no doubt about it. Live, Hampton, Virginia, it's gonna get a treat! Backlash is one of the pay-per-views you do not want to miss here in CJM and Pure Wrestling. As the first match of the night, ladies and gentlemen, is not going to be the USA Championship. It is going to be the contract match between, between Velveteen Dream and his free agent opponent. Whoever wins gets a contract to any brand of their choosing. Then the next match, the second match, is going to be Mike Kanellis versus Finn Balor. After Kanellis says he didn't get put through a table, he's going to try to defeat Finn Balor here tonight, just like how he did on CJM to get this opportunity. And Ember Moon named the new number one contender for the Women's Wrestling Championship. Both of these women have beaten Nia Jax before. Now they're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe here tonight. But next, after weeks and weeks of getting embarrassed, Austin Aries is going to put a stop to it. Now, it's going to be Andrade San Almas versus Austin Aries here tonight. And then our nation's championship, where Flip Gordon will take on our newly crowned champion in Cassius Ono after defeating The Miz for that championship right there. This match is going to be a definitely fun match to see. And talking about The Miz, he has a title defense against Randy Orton, the former champion he cashed in on to win that very championship. It is Randy Orton versus The Miz. And for the Pure Wrestling Championship here tonight, will Randy become a two-time Pure Wrestling Champion? But now, it is Piper Niven versus one half of the iconic duo, Billy Kay, for that female takeover championship right there. Piper Niven named the new number one contender. Will she defeat Billy Kay here tonight? Will we see a title change? Who knows? Piper could definitely do it. Then our main event is going to be Johnny Gargano, Johnny Wrestling, here tonight against the Lunatic Fringe, the Unstable, Dean Ambrose, here tonight. Will today be the night for Johnny Gargano? to win that championship, finally winning a singles championship in his career, or will Johnny Gargano enter the Ambrose Asylum when he faces Dean Ambrose here tonight? And now we're gonna go, of course, to our first match, Velveteen Dream versus a free agent. Tonight we go, ladies and gentlemen, as here is the Velveteen Dream. He is back here tonight to earn himself a contract for either CJM or Beer Wrestling, a brand of his choosing. We shall see what brand will he choose if he wins here tonight. We know he's up against a another fellow free agent that wants a contract here in CJM and Beer Wrestling. We don't know who it is. We're about to find out moments. Uh, from now, but Velveteen Dream seems pretty confident heading into this match to get a contract here tonight. This free agent could be anybody, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm afraid Velveteen Dream is way in over his head. Stand back! There's a hurricane coming through. What the hell? It, it's the hurricane! He's here! Ladies and gentlemen, when did we ever see this man here in universe mode? Never! This is a surprise! The hurricane is here! I can't believe what I'm seeing, ladies and gentlemen. The hurricane in a CJM and Pure Wrestling arena. This is incredible! What a huge surprise! for our first matchup here tonight. Oh man, there's no telling who could win this match. Do I want Hurricane to win this match or the Velveteen Dream? Man, the Hurricane, a pretty good veteran in that squared circle. Uh-oh. 
Here we go. Velveteen Dream versus the Hurricane. This one is gonna be good. As a two, wait, no. Velveteen Dream refusing to lock up here. Going for a suplex. Taking the Hurricane down. And this is for a contract. So if any of these men lose, they will not have a contract for CJM or Pure Wrestling. Big Mishkunoku driver by the Hurricane. And now, oh, big DDT sends him straight down. Man, Velveteen Dream looks like he's having a little tough time with the Hurricane. Oh, big forearm smash, and now front face lock. Of course, a variation, Hurricane. Uh, this is the first ever appearance for this man here in universe mode. He has never appeared. Big suplex there, man. Velveteen Dream is indeed having a tough time. Oh my God. Look at this. Hurricane now. He's got him up. Who hits him down? Oh geez, Hurricane is heading up to the top already. Looks like Velveteen Dream's trying to dodge. Hurricane, but Hurricane now. Oh, Velveteen Dream turns around. Look out, Dream. Oh, Hurricane Rana. Man, this man. Hurricane is definitely going in for the contract. Uh-oh, Velveteen Dream turning things around. It looks like big DDT drops him down on his face. Oh, big elbow drop. Velveteen now. Using everything he can to put down, ooh, the superhero here tonight. Oh, look out, look out. Oh, man, I thought he was going to use a pin combo. Definitely, that crucifix is definitely a pin combo you want to utilize here to win a matchup. And here we go, Velvety Dream trying to get back on his feet. But Hurricane now picks him up. I don't know where he's going to put him, but here we go. Look out, tied up on the ropes there. Hurricane going for the leg. As soon as he hits a signature or finisher, the Hurricane might as well be the victor of this match. He's going to get himself a contract. Oh my goodness, a counter. And a big punch there by Velveteen Dream. Trying to counter his opponent here tonight. Look out. He's stuck in that corner. Oh my goodness, a high knee takes Velveteen down. Another Michikunoku driver this time with a pin combo. But no, a kick out. Man, very good matchup. Very good uh, telegraph moves by these two here tonight. Oh, here we go. Hurricane, he hits him. Finisher to Velveteen Dream. Will it be over? Contract. Oh, no. Velveteen kicked out. If he would have won right there, that's it. Velveteen Dream would have lost yet yeah, another contract match. This is big, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first ever contract match in CJM and Pure Wrestling history. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look out, Hurricane. Oh, that Valley Driver for the superhero himself. The Masked Crusader is definitely... Has to look out for Velveteen Dream. Look out. This elbow drop can put away everything. Velveteen Dream with the elbow drop of a century. He's got him there for the contract. Two. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? The hurricane just kicked out. When an electric match to start off with, it looks like these people here are liking this, are enjoying it. Oh my goodness. Taking it to the middle rope here is Velveteen Dream as Hurricane is getting up slowly. Look out, double axe handle. Just trying to work his opponent to not get up. But Hurricane manages to struggle to get up on his feet. Look at this, taking it to the air here again. Uh-oh, look out, look out. This doesn't bode well for both men. German suplex from the top. Oh my God. That might have just killed him. The cover. Two, no, oh, not even a two count. What? How the, how? Man, Hurricane is putting up a big fight. He wants to get a contract live here tonight. 
Here we go, Hurricane. He's got him up. Oh, no, no, he doesn't have him up. He almost had him for another maneuver there. But instead, a counter from Velveteen Dream. It looks like he might go for that Death Valley driver again. Oh, no, look out, look out. Hurricane, he's up. No, oh, he's down again. Uh-oh, he's right in position. But, oh, whoa, whoa, look at this. Right in position, but gets a hard knockdown. I'm not even a two count again. Velveteen Dream. Oh, he escaped it. Look out. No, Hurricane with the counter. Oh, no. Velveteen Dream now. He's got the advantage. Oh, man. Oh, a big neck breaker. And now looking for a cover, but a rope break. Referee has to tell Velveteen Dream to get off because the rope break, you can't pin when you have your feet under the bottom rope or on top of the rope. And now Hurricane, oh, whoa, big kick there. Now DDT, no, Hurricane with the Russian leg sweep. And now Hurricane picks up Velveteen Dream. Looks for a big maneuver, no. Looks like Velveteen Dream comes up with a back soup. In Velveteen Dream, no doubt about it. You can see it in his eyes, you can see it in his body language that he's tired here tonight, but he's gonna keep going. He does yet again the third. Death Valley Driver. And now resting in the corner. You have to assume that he's thinking about it. Velveteen Dream is thinking about ending. Hurricane got him. What an elbow drop. Spectacular by Velveteen Dream. Here we go. And Velveteen Dream wins a contract. What a match. Take a look at that. Velveteen Dream is now able to compete in C-Jam or Pure Wrestling, a brand of his choosing. Ladies and gentlemen, the contract goes to that man right there. Very well, very amazing job done here. But the Hurricane put up quite a fight for his first match in C-Jam and Pure Wrestling. What a great matchup these two had. go to our first title defense it is gonna be Mike Kanellis versus the champion Finn Balor here tonight definitely backlash is shaping up to be a very good pay-per-view as uh, we just now know that the Velveteen Dream has just earned a contract against the Hurricane if you guys didn't watch that match I suggest go back and watch it. That match was a good one. And now this match is going to be an amazing one as well. Mike Kanellis, the power of love that he represents. Will he take down the Demon King? That has yet to be seen, but ladies and gentlemen, look at this capacity crowd here tonight. They are awaiting the Demon King, Finn Balor. And here he is. Finn Balor, the man to watch out for. The USA champion. All right. Sporting this new color here. Ben Balor always looking amazing with his attire here tonight. Will he, can he defeat Mike Kanellis after what happened last week when Mike Kanellis defeated Finn Balor in a non-title match? The non-title match was definitely a good match to see as Mike Kanellis connected with that huge finishing maneuver to finish off Finn Balor. And that finished Balor 
just like that. It was instant. And if he hits that thing, in my opinion, we have a new USA champion, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what? Finn Balor cannot wait to get his hands on Mike Kanellis after what he did last week, winning that non-title match. Puts him right up there with Balor. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This match is going to be a good one. As I know, the second match of the night will it top the first. And as there's many signs here, as for the USA Championship, there's a Finn for the win sign. There's a lot of, you know, good support here for both competitors in this matchup. You can see the backlash set. All blue, all ready to go here tonight. As another person ready to go is Mike Kanellis. Feeling the power of love here tonight. And here is the Demon King. He is not the Demon here tonight, but Balor is himself. He is here. He is representing Balor Club. As the champion is set for his second title defense here tonight. The first one being at Cyber Sunday where Mike Kanellis said that he did not lose. He did not get put through a table. Finn Balor moved out of the way and Mike Kanellis put himself through the table. Of course, Hideo Watami indeed eliminated. That's why he is out of the picture in this match. Now it's a one-on-one -on -one match between Mike Kanellis and Finn Balor. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The match goes right now. Look at this. Mike Kanellis started off the match the same way he started off last week. Oh, my goodness. Huge suplex delivered to the champ. Big elbow drop there. And Cyber Sunday definitely was an exciting pay-per-view to see. Oh, my goodness. Right to the back of the head. And now look at this butterfly suplex from Mike Kanellis. Mike Kanellis, I mean, he's acting fairly co cocky here tonight. Uh, I don't think he should do that against Finn Balor, as Balor is a huge competitor. Talk about accolades. Finn Balor has the most. I don't know, but I don't think Mike Kanellis cares about Finn Balor's accolades when he goes up against him right here, right now. Mike Kanellis cares about inflicting damage on Finn Balor just like that. And another elbow drop there. Mike Kanellis is delivering these shots right ahead here tonight. Oh, the knee right to the chest. Finn Balor definitely in trouble. Does not want to lose this match after losing to Mike Kanellis last week. This gotta be. This is, has to be embarrassing if he loses again. And suplex from Mike Kanellis yet again for the second time. Mike Kanellis connected it. And here we go. He's got him up here to the turnbuckle and throws him off. As he's got him where he wants him now. Look at this. Down he goes. Man, Finn Balor is in deep trouble. Oh, no. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. If he could hit this move, we have a new champion. He got him. The cover. One, two. Oh, a kick out there by Balor. He has to do it again. There's no telling what can happen next. Oh my goodness, huge jawbreaker. Look out, down he goes. Balor is building a full head of steam. And here we go, Balor. Here is the comeback he's been waiting for. Sling blade down to Canellis. And now Mike Canellis is up. He's on his feet. Look out, look out. He's got him up for the Brain Buster. Man, talk about a suplex. 
Balor has those brain busters. And look out. You don't want to be in this predicament. Shotgun drop kick. Right into position. Finn Balor can be looking for the final shot, the last shot. The final nail in the coffin to put away Mike Canales. Oh, he walked. He crawls away. Mike Canales crawled away. Very smart. Oh, but gets taken down again. Attempted to crawl away. Mike Canales almost. And now with no time to crawl away as Bauer hits the coup de gras. The cover. One, two. What? A kick out again from a coup de gras. I don't understand how, but this time Mike Canell is kicked out. Oh my goodness. That huge swanton, springboard swanton from Balor. And now, looks like a big snapmare working on the arm. Just wrenching on this arm, not letting it go. Hopefully to prepare for another maneuver later on in this matchup, Mike Canellis quickly escapes. And now Mike Canellis, oh, gets trapped again. Ladies and gentlemen, may I remind you that at this pay-per-view last season, uh, the championship did change hands. The USA Championship changed hands here tonight. Oh my goodness. Of course, the title picture was uh, two men that no longer work here. But now these two men do, but a kick out from Mike Canellis, and that's what matters. The two people that are in the ring right now as of this moment. Oh, wait a second, hold on. Finn Balor, he's looking for a bloody Sunday, take some down. He said, Canellis, you wanna use your second finisher? I'ma use my second finisher. Wait, he's not done. He's not going for the pin. Is this a dumb move? by Finn Balor? Balor, why didn't you go for the pin after the Bloody Sunday? I don't understand, you could have won the match already. This match would have been over. Uh oh, uh oh, back suplex. Oh, look at this, oh, going for the coup de gras. Oh, wait, 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 no. Canellis rolling out of harm's way. And now going to the outside, taking this match to the outside. Oh, throws him into the barricade. Smashes his head right on it. And now throws him back inside the ring. The tactic play, the strategy by Mike Canella is very smart right here tonight. And now Mike Canella here we go, here we go. Takes him down with a signature. Look out, look out, the cover, the cover. Will we have a new champion off the signature? No. Mike Canella does not get the win. Came close to becoming new champion. Uh-oh. Look out, Balor. Look out. He's got him up again. Balor in trouble. Takes him down. Will it be over? New champion. Oh, and Balor with a kick out. Man, Mike Kanellis looks like he's not going to waste any time to take Finn Balor down. Mike Kanellis, if he defeats Finn Balor, it's going to be huge. Look out. Oh, going for the back. Targeting that, targeting that back region of Finn Balor. Now going up. Looks like he's going to go up to the top. Uh-oh, this isn't good for Balor. Hold on now. Hold on. Look at this. He's got him. Oh, wait, Balor. Look at this. Fighting out of it. Jesus. He's got him. Oh, Mike Kanellis. Here we go. Will it be over? Well, Finn Balor. Finn Balor. He's got him. Plants him down. Finn Balor. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Balor. He looks like he's got it this time. Coup de gras. The cover. To retain. And he's done it. Finn Balor retains his championship here tonight. Balor knew it was over right here. The coup de gras putting an end to Mike Kanellis. Man, what a maneuver. That maneuver can really incapacitate your opponent. 
And Balor did just that, retaining his USA Championship here tonight. It's the first ever singles title defense. Finn Balor did a really good job. Another title match set to take place here tonight. You already know who this woman is, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the set lighting up red. Ember Moon is going to make her awaited entrance here tonight. As she is now in title uh, contendership here tonight, she faces Tessa Blanchard. Ember Moon and Tessa Blanchard are the only women who have beaten Nia Jax. And uh, that kind of kind of worries me here tonight because Ember Moon did it and Tessa Blanchard did it. It's going to show you these two women they have so much potential ladies and gentlemen ember moon and tessa blanchard i mean this is incredible this match is gonna go amazing ladies and gentlemen no telling what to expect Here is the Women's Wrestling Champion, ladies and gentlemen. Here is Tessa Blanchard. And she is proud to carry the title around, well, not around her waist, but on her shoulder. As Tessa Blanchard is very proud to have won that championship on a, in a ladder match against Nia Jax. I mean, who would it? Ember Moon has claimed respectively, of course, that Ember herself has pinned Nia Jax before where Tessa Blanchard has it. So we're going to really see, ladies and gentlemen, what Ember Moon is all about. What is she talking about? And if Tessa Blanchard has a chance, who knows? Maybe Tessa Blanchard might beat Ember Moon. It'd be crazy if Ember Moon becomes a two-time women's wrestling champion. being up for grabs ladies and gentlemen there it is as Ember Moon is getting all set and ready getting prepped for this matchup as she's warming up right here tonight and what about Tessa Blanchard I mean one has to assume Tessa Blanchard is gonna get ready for her title defense her first ever title defense here tonight is not a ladder match. It is a one-on-one -on -one normal match here. Here we go. Hand over the title so it can be defended here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a good one. Championship up for grabs. That's what they're fighting for as the referee holds, holds it up. Of course, having a referee of this magnitude is uh, very fair here tonight. We don't want the pure wrestling referee or the CJM referee. We want a world-class referee, ladies and gentlemen, to officiate these matches as they have to be correctly officiated. Or at least, uh, according to Mike Canella, said it is, it's not, but it is. Trust me. And uh, Tessa Blanchard, I'm taking a lot of shots to Ember Moon right now as Ember Moon continues. Oh no, Luthez press. Oh, look at this. Tessa Blanchard with a huge strength advantage against Ember Moon. Oh my God, look at that senton. Tessa Blanchard taking it straight to the former women's wrestling champion. And now she's getting uh, dragged here. Oh my God, to the top turnbuckle it looks like. 
She has to watch out. Ember Moon getting hit constantly on the head on the turnbuckle pad. Thank goodness the turnbuckle pad is on. Oh, she hits the leg of Tessa Blanchard. Ember has to get some momentum rolling for her in the early beginning of this match. Oh my God, not again. This time, a couple more times to Ember Moon. Oh my goodness. Tessa Blanchard definitely showing her aggressive side here against Ember Moon. And now look at this, Tessa Blanchard looking to go and put her on top. Well, not on top, but oh my god, DDT spiking her on her head. Looks like Ember got tired of everything. Ember Moon has not whipped out an eclipse to anybody, any woman in the pure wrestling locker room. She has done it to the APW woman, but none have gotten it in pure wrestling. Will Tessa Blanchard be the first victim of the eclipse? Will she eclipse Tessa Blanchard as she's wrenching those arms, making sure Tessa has no more air left to breathe? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, reversal there. Tessa Blanchard being all technical. Oh, my goodness, taking her down. Remember, these two women shaked hands right before this matchup. They shaked hands last week. Uh-oh, uh-oh, look out, look out. Hammerlock DDT. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we know what this is. She's going up to the top. She's going to look to finish everything off, ladies and gentlemen. These two women's finishers are coming from the air. Here we go. Tessa Blanchard with the co breaker from the top. This is how she defeated Ember Moon the first time on Pure Wrestling. Oh, she kicked out. Tessa Blanchard shocked. Ember Moon kicked out. Look, wait, Tessa Blanchard going up to the top yet again. What is she doing now? Oh my god, a leg drop. It barely looked like it barely connected, but it did connect. Man, these two women are definitely going at it, but it, it looks like Ember Moon's just out of it here tonight. I don't know why. Ember Moon is uh, not putting up that much of a fight. Oh wait, never mind. Here we go, Ember Moon, Northern Light Suplex. Now a kick to the back, Ember Moon has got to get the ball going here as she doesn't have that much momentum in the as she did at the start of the match. Ember with a kick, Ember now, look at this, snap suplex with a pin combination, but a rope break. Has to be careful with those rope breaks that could happen at any point in this matchup and it will mess you up no matter who you are, no matter what you do. And Ember Moon now, wait, look at this. Whoa, the athleticism from Ember Moon taking it to Tessa Blanchard. Oh, a leg sweep there. She takes her down, focuses her attention on Ember Moon yet again. Big kick and another kick. This time into the Hammerlock DDT. Now looking to go for the cover. Get to change things up here again. Oh my goodness, but that's it, what? Tessa Blanchard just, she just pinned Ember Moon just like that in a hammerlock DDT. As shocking as it was, ladies and gentlemen, that was the end of the match. Ember Moon lost to the hammerlock DDT. I don't know what happened here tonight, but it looks like Ember Moon couldn't keep up with Tessa Blanchard. I don't know. Hmm, I, we will have to see what's going to happen on the next Pure Wrestling. What's going to happen with Ember Moon? Because here tonight, she, I can tell she was kind of off. Who knows, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have to see for the next Pure Wrestling to come. And now, time for a matchup we've all been waiting for. It's going to be Andrade Cien Almas versus Austin Aries. Here is Andrade Cien Almas, ladies and gentlemen. He cannot wait for his opportunity here to, tonight to embarrass Austin Aries yet again. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, with Zelina Vega on his side there in the background. Will Andrade Cien Almas yet again defeat Austin Aries. 
two men have never clashed before. Now they're gonna clash here tonight. We're gonna see if Austin Aries can make a, a comeback in this match. Can he do the unthinkable and make a huge comeback for himself here in universe mode? Austin Aries gets a chance to show everyone what he's all about yet again. Coming with a new theme song and everything, Austin Aries is revitalized here in CJM. And ladies and gentlemen, you have to assume Austin Aries cannot wait can, to get his hands on Andrade Cien Amos after weeks of embarrassing him. Calling him out on every single loss. He even made a video package about Austin Aries and him losing at Final Battle, at Backlash, against AJ Styles, the likes of Bobby Roode, Ty Dillinger. It was this time last year, as a matter of fact, that Andrade San almost pointed out that Austin Aries lost a title shot to Bobby Roode. He had a championship opportunity and he lost. He could have been CJM champion, and Andrade Cien Almas likes to bring that up. The fact that Austin Aries has just dealt with this for weeks is beyond me, but oh, there's Andrade Cien Almas taking down Austin Aries. Already things are not looking too good for the Austin Aries. Hold on, a quick cover. No, Andrade Cien Almas. No, he did not win. Not. Not yet, I guess. Andrade believes he can win. He can beat Austin Aries. Aries has a lot of things to say about that, though. Austin Aries is not going to leave without a fight. Oh, and there it is. Here goes Austin Aries with the crucifix there. And now stomping on Austin, and Andrade said, I'm sorry. And now look at this, look at this. Big suplex there. That's what I want to see from Austin Aries. A big comeback here tonight. Not letting anybody, oh my goodness, take away from his illustrious career. Big right hand punch and now Meteora. I don't know what Andrade San Almas' next move is, but oh, a low basement drop kick takes place there as Andrade San Almas just gloating over the punishment that he's in stilling in Austin Aries, but Aries now with the reversal. Up a win, no he does not. Aries is not gonna win that easy as he has to defeat Andrade Cien Almas. Here we go, off the ropes it looks like. Yes, off the ropes, oh no, miscommunication. But now Andrade Cien Almas has it. Almas, oh my, hitting him with the elbow right to the face. The elbow shot that takes him down and now Andrade Cien Almas, no. It seems like Aries was coming back up as Almas was trying to go for a springboard maneuver. And Aries is trying to go for any little thing he can. Remember, Aries hasn't competed in a match ever since final battle. It's almost been a year, ladies and gentlemen. This amount of ring rust can really cost them a matchup here tonight. Swift kick out there by Almas. Is almost always letting down the hair during his battles here in CJM. And now, oh my, missed with that drop kick. It looked beautiful, but no. It was Aries that counted with the neck breaker. Aries wearing this new gear to show the new era of Austin Aries. And here we go, Aries. Oh no, kick to the face. Look out, Alma Springboard drop kick. Man, oh look at this. Almost now mocking Aries in this matchup. I don't think he wants to do that to the greatest man that ever lived. As Zelina Vega is applauding on as she watches Almas do all the dirty work here in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh wait, oh my god, look out, oh my goodness, wait a second, Andrade Cien Almas, 
over the top. Oh my god, Aries reverses. Missing with that maneuver, Aries. Oh my goodness. That reversal hugely timed. And now almost trying to mock him again. Man, what a move that was. I can't even tell you. But oh wait, no. Almas keeps going for the cover, but come on, you have to do more damage. He thought he had that dive, that suicide dive that he was going for, but no, it did not work in his favor. And now he goes to the neck. Austin Aries. Aries working on it to make sure. Now he looks to pick him up on one knee. Now what? Oh, big hit, but counters is Almas. And Almas now, look, he's got him up for a suplex. And, oh, brain buster there. Aries is rolling out of there, rolling out of harm's way. Almas is challenging him to come back inside the ring. Oh, big strike takes him to the outside. Spilling next to the announcer's desk. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this isn't good. Look out. Almas, what are you doing? What the? Oh my god! High cross body! Right off the ropes there! Oh, big forearm shot, and now looks like Almas is gonna take. Oh, Ares is gonna take him somewhere. I don't know where, but oh! Looks like he was trying to take him to the announcer's desk, the announcer's table there. Oh, look out, look out, look out! That drop! What was Ares looking for? in the matchup oh now it's Ares Ares is now challenging Almas Almas gets back inside the ring instantly and now look at this back suplex he thinks he has this one in the bag ladies and gentlemen whether you agree with Almas or not he's been looking impressive thus far in this matchup look out oh no miss with the drop kick miscommunication there oh elbow shot right to the back uh oh uh oh look at this he's got him up oh there it is the famous brain buster oh Zelina Vega come on she's up on the apron as Andrade Cien Almas was taken down with a huge brain buster uh oh oh oh, oh look at this look at this He's got him! He's got him! One! Two! Holy j What? Austin Aries wins! He sneaks in the win! Austin Aries! You can't be too cocky when you're up against the greatest man that ever lived, Almas! Look at that roll up and the cover! That was it! Man, Andrade San almost trying to complain to the referee, but a win is a win. What the hell? What is that? Oh my god! What is go Come on, this match is over! What are you doing? Oh! Aries retaliating! Aries! Look at this! Oh! My god! Lead to the last chancery! He's tapping! Aries proving a point! That he's not a failure, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, what a great showing. Live from the land of the rising sun in Tokyo, Japan, there will be no forgiveness. CJM and Pure Wrestling presents Unforgiven.